This is Britain's earliest piece of Mesolithic art. Look at that. It was almost certainly a ritual offering. So this is possibly 11,000 years old. Indeed, and it probably looks very similar to when it was first made and worn. OK. So this object is made of shale, which is a type of stone, um, and it's found locally to Starkar in the form of water-worn pebbles. And they've obviously drilled a hole here to make it into a, a pendant. They have. The pebble shape is natural. There aren't signs of it being worked, but the drilled suspension hole and these very faint engravings would have been made using flint tools, um, many of which have been found at Starkar. Under the microscope, archaeologists found almost no sign of wear on the pendant, meaning it was put in the lake when new, or as good as new. That adds weight to the idea that this wasn't dropped or discarded, but was placed in the lake as a sacrificial offering. Can I hold it? You can. You've joined the Blue Gloves Club, so you can hold it. <laughs> I feel genuinely quite nervous. It's fairly fragile, so... Um... So don't drop it? So don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the headline now. TV host breaks rare artefact. Let's not do that, then. And these marks, I mean, they are intriguing. They're so subtle. This isn't a bling piece of, of jewellery to show off to the rest of the tribe. I mean, you'd know that you had these marks on the pendant that you were wearing, but no one else would necessarily know, would they? No, you have to look very closely to see them. And you're right, it's likely that the designs would have held most importance and most significance for the wearer themselves. What do you think it's a design of? It's so difficult to say. Um, I like the idea that it might be a depiction of something from nature, so that it might depict um, some of the woodland near Starkar or perhaps a leaf or part of the natural environment. So if I had to place a bet, that's what I'd go for. Other experts think they could be tally marks recording the number or type of animals killed. The truth is, nobody knows for sure. But one thing is certain. This was, and is, a very special object. So special, some experts suspect it may have been worn by a shaman. What an absolute privilege to be able to hold something that was special to someone living in Starkar 11,000 years ago. Gives me the tingles. 